That's perfect. Juicy. Spalding on the butt. Hey y'all, this is Brad and I'm Haley and we're the Freezes. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to our very first episode of Why Buy It When You Can Build It. Today, we're gonna to be building a chipping cornhole set. Yeah, I what know. Do you, what do you call it? Cornhole <laughs> for golfers. Cornhole for golfers with golf balls, not not bags. So with only these two, these five, this not even full sheet of full-weight plywood, and some AstroTurf. This is actually made out of recycled plastic bottles, which is really good for the environment because they're not in the ocean now. Now we got both the frames built. Time to cut the plywood. So it's built, it's done. Now we've got to decide about hole placement. We haven't really given this a ton of thought. So I think this should be medium. This should be, you, you win it all. This is medium. And then we'll, I'll just do something incrementally bigger right here. And I don't think this is what it's for on a speed square, but it actually, it actually works pretty good. And when I go to make my smaller hole, I'll just put my finger like right there and I can do like that or something. Uh, it works pretty good. You just screw it in, doesn't go anywhere. Go ahead and take your half inch drill bit, start at this end right here, make yourself a nice little pilot hole to drill your, uh, to get your jigsaw there and get it started. Make your circle and hopefully it comes out round. Here we go. Once you've got your holes cut out, this is the easy part. You gotta do the second one. And since we already have one made, take this bad boy right here, plop her down, take this bad boy, plop her down. Look at that, you just you just trace it. You can all trace, right? Now we've got to put some legs on it. I'm gonna take this extra piece I bought right here, probably cut about a 12 inch piece, and see, you know, I could I could do math and figure out how long this needs to be to make that at a certain height, but I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna just cut it, look at it, see if it works, and then we'll go from there. Once you got it level, take that, this is not probably the right way to do it. Boom, put a little mark on your wood because pine is so soft. You see your circle right there? You can drill your hole. It's important to snack. If you don't snack, you make bad decisions like not buying enough carriage bolts. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our roll, take that, I get rid of it. And then here's the kicker. So these aren't trimmed yet, but what we're gonna do is cut that end on a 45, cut this end on a 35, and that's gonna sandwich the whole thing down. We're also gonna spray adhesive underneath it because it's going to make it stick, it's going to give it a good bounce, good playing surface. Yeah. One thing you got to make sure of is to put a ton of adhesive right here, right here around the edge. You're the only thing holding this to the board is the actual adhesive, so make sure, don't be, don't be shy, you know? So, got the felt on, I've painted the rim here, so you can't really, it doesn't look like we're always, you don't want to put it unfinished. But for the nets, 
kind of in a rush on this thing, so we just went to Academy, bought these gear bags. They are uh, like five bucks. So we weren't really sure where to get nets and didn't feel like Googling it. So what we're gonna do is take these where the corners are, cut it about right there. Honestly, I'll probably just go halfway before I get two out of this, like that and like that. Then when it opens up, the cone, the point right here will be the center in the bottom. Take something like that. Obviously, I'll probably use that melanin over there a lot thinner and kind of sandwich it all the way around and hold the net in place so it actually lasts instead of just like gluing it or stapling or something. It's, it's completely pinched, so it's not going to go anywhere. And I know sometimes when you cut it, it tends to go a little wild in the end. So if you want to avoid the mess and maybe add some strength to your net before you sandwich it in the boards, I suggest taking some masking tape or any kind of tape. Nobody will ever see it, but it's going to make your life a lot easier. Probably. I don't know. I've never done this. And look, this is for Haley because Haley didn't think he was going to wear it. Me. So, look at this. Watch, watch how good this is going to work. Take your razor. It doesn't, this is like dull. This is like two years old probably. Oh, check this out. Because scissors are just far too difficult, well, scissors. people. Boom. Ugh. Look at that. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, didn't even see it. See those knife skills? Beautiful. Also, we'll have... Turn to the side, can't see. Oh! 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 Take. With carriage bolts, it's got this square head, so it makes a nice little look there, but it's kind of hard to cut a square. No, I mean, you can't do it. I'm sure there's something, but they sell these. They're called torque washers. What you do is you put it on the carriage bolt like that. See how it locks in? Can't go anywhere. And then these bad boys, once you put the carriage bolt in, get a little hammer, it digs in, then it holds your carriage bolt square. Boom. Just like that. All right, so it's looking pretty good. It's not done, obviously. It's missing something. What's it missing? That's right. Something to clean that edge up there. Was that a beetle? Uh, full disclaimer also, if you're watching the video and you wondered, hey, why do you have the legs on the other side? I wasn't paying attention. I just had to swap it around. It could go either way. It's whatever you want to do. That's the beauty. Whenever you build something and you don't buy it, you make it exactly how you want it. 